This is Sarah Schaefer, Business and Crop Online Editor for AgWeb.com, and I'm visiting with Brian Basting of Advanced Trading. Now, Brian, you've been speaking here at the Marketing Rally for the last two days. What are your thoughts on the 2010 acreage mix? Sarah, I think it's going to be an interesting year because we've gone through a fall now where we've lost some wheat acreage here in the eastern Midwest, parts of Indiana, southern Illinois, Missouri, uh, parts of Ohio. Intended wheat acres did not get planted because of all the rain. So I think we're going to have more acreage available to plant to um, corn or beans here in 2010. And we're also seeing some conservation reserve program acreage come available here for 2010. So we could certainly make a case where we could see an increase not only in corn acreage but also in bean acreage for 2010. So what's happening down in South America with their acreage? <laughs> really it's a weather market here as we get to move into our winter time period of course they're moving into their summer time period so it'll be a weather market all the way through December, January and February. We saw last year when we had a tremendous drought in Argentina how much of a boost that gave to the soybean market so I think Corn and soybeans will both be very sensitive to what goes on down in South America the next two or three months. Great. And so, in conclusion, what is the number one market moving factor that you tend to watch as a market advisor? It's a real good question. I think that as we move into the winter months, South American weather, of course, will be at the top of the list. I would include, though, the activity in the outside markets seem to continue to have a lot of influence on commodities, specifically following the gold market, for example, the equities and add in the price of oil in there, uh, all those things, the dollar, are all going to have an impact. So I guess I'd put those side by side as we move into winter. All right. Well, thank you very much, Brian. You're welcome, sir.